Question number 27 says the dimensions of a rectangular prism are 26 inches by 10 inches by 8 inches. So I put together a really lousy looking rectangular prism and we're going to say that this is 26, it's 10 down, and we'll say it's 8 from here to here, adding that third dimension. So they want to know what is the surface area in square inches of the prism. There's a couple different ways that we can go about getting this. One of the options is, of course, to um, just use the surface area formula, where you get this bad boy. SA is equal to 2AB plus B 2BC plus 2AC. That's something that we could do. Uh, that's fine. You're welcome to use that. I tend to not do it that way. I just want to look at all the parts. It kind of eases my mind a little bit if I know um, that I've covered everything. So I have the top and the bottom. So the top would be here. It would be 26 long and 8. So I have one of those on top. I have one of those on the bottom. Because really the surface area is just the area of all the surfaces. And then I have the front, which would be 10 tall. This is 10. And from here to here is, of course, 26. And as you can see, you don't really have to pretend that they're different. They look almost exactly the same, but one's 8 and one's 10. That doesn't make any sense, does it? I don't draw scale. And then finally you have your end caps, so 10 and 8. If I'm building something, this is how I buy you know, materials for it. I think about what sizes I'm going to need. To find area, of course, these are all rectangles. Length times width. So in this case, it's 26 times 8. Two oh eight, so I'm gonna make room here for that. I'll actually put it in purple. So is this one. Twenty six times ten is two hundred and sixty, and ten times eight is eighty. So to get my surface area, I just need to add up all of those numbers. So two oh eight. eighty sheesh put my two up there two four six eight ten ten ninety six and since I did two dimensional um, analysis so I multiplied by two dimensions one would be 10 units, and the other one, or I guess it would be inches here, inches times inches, which is inches squared, so 1096 inches squared. So feel free to use the formula if you can remember it, but if you can't remember it, when you're doing surface area, just draw out all the sides, show the dimensions, and then find each area, and then add all the areas up. If you're doing volume, if you just find the area of the quote-unquote bottom, and multiply by the height that works for anything that's not a quote uh, that's not like a pointy shape and then if it's a pointy shape like a cone do the volume of the bottom multiply by height times one third so there you go a little extra bonus information on that one